<laughs> oh, Lord. This thing sounds unbelievable. And let me tell you, I'm an Almond Brothers. To say enthusiast would be kind of a understatement. Gibson Custom Shop, Dickie Betts, brother to brother, signature SG. It's the one that Dwayne had back in the day. Interesting enough, I saw some old, uh, on, on YouTube, bless YouTube, there was some footage of the, the Almond Brothers playing uh, from, I believe it was from the live at the Fillmore recordings, and Dickie was playing an SG. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that. And there was some spank to his playing on that record, especially used uh, both in between with both pickups. Really had a, a distinct sound. For some reason, I always had it in my mind that it was a gold top, Les Paul, but it was actually an SG. And of course, Dwayne used a lot, an SG for a lot of his slide stuff. Uh, these particular ones are, this one is an aged and signed one, so if you look in the back here, it says, old Dickie Betts signed it, which is pretty doggone cool. The serial number on this one is DB34, uh, weighing in on a nice, uh, 6.42 pounds. Uh, the pickups on this thing, man, I'll tell you what, ridiculous, really, really sound. Like the real deal, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. Uh, let's go to the in-between position, which is really kind of a classic positioning of these type of activities. Let's go to the back pickup all by itself and see what we got going on.
a majestic tone machine. It's a Gibson Custom Shop, Dickie Betts, brother to brother, signature SG. Dickie Betts rules. Greg Koch, here for Wildwood, DB34 is this particular guitar. We'll see you later, y'all.